So if you saw my last video like this, you understand that uh, the idea behind what I'm trying to do now is sort of the anti-breakdown. It's the buildup. And I'm using Ableton Live and I'm using Captain Chords. You can use any DAW Captain Chords. Um, Hitofude Ryu is the Japanese art form where a single, an artist takes a single brush, dip, paint, done. The idea is to capture inspiration, get as close to the idea as you possibly can, be in the flow, and then go. Last time I went in with very little preparation, I chose one sound and it was the ah pad. I never really explained why I chose that sound. Um, the sound itself has two sounds in the sound. There is the main pitch and then there's another pitch, seven semitones above it. So it gives you a perfect fifth, which means if you play a three note chord, like a triad, you actually get five notes. So you get the root and then a fifth, and then you get the third and a fifth above that, which was the seventh. And then the fifth and a fifth above that, which is the ninth. So you get a one, three, five, seven, nine. That's why I chose it last time, if I didn't explain it last time. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, it took a little bit of time to prepare really just the template. And I kind of sort of think I know what I'm going to do, but I'm not 100% certain. So the idea is to just get started, make some sounds, and go. The one bit of prep work I'm doing today is to show you a couple of neat little functions in Captain Chords. And instead of using the built-in sounds... I'm going to be using some other sounds. Uh, I'm actually going to get rid of this for a moment. And the idea here is I actually have two synths waiting to receive one MIDI information or one set of MIDI information from Captain Chords. Um, for those of you who use it, who say, oh, you know, I don't like the sounds, totally fine. Uh, here I am. I'm just firing up Captain Chords. I'm going to go over to play just so I can hear something. Now, right now, it's doing the built-in piano strings sound. Maybe I don't want that. And I can surf through all of these sounds all I like, and if I find one cool, and if not, oh well. Well, there's a neat little button over here called VST Output, and there's a little output tutorial shows you exactly how to set it up. So Captain is going to generate the MIDI, and then Captain is going to now send it to different places. One place it's going to send it is internally to the internal sounds. I'll show you how to get rid of that if you don't want that. Then the other place it can send it is to any other MIDI track that's set to receive. So the tutorial's here on the screen. It's quite easy, and I've already set that up. And that's the idea. That's the preparation. You kind of collect your favorite sounds, set them up in a template, and get ready to go. So all you have to do is fire up your template and go to work. So again, here in play, right now I hit play, and I hear nothing because the sound is going out. So I'm going to move this down, and I'm going to come over to these two tracks. In fact, I'm going to get rid of Captain before I do. I mentioned last week, if you close the window, it closes the sound. Doesn't have to. So there is a preference, which is super cool, called keep playing MIDI notes when the plugin window is closed. So with this checked, it goes across all the tools, um, at least it did for me, and I'm going to hit done so that I can just close Captain Chords and it's going to work. So here I've got a serum and I'm just choosing a preset, BLD Pluck is my first sound. And my second sound is this centipede pad. So I have two sounds prepped. One of them has a little bit of pedal, a little bit of dynamic tube, and I'm sending it to B. B is an echo. Actually, I've got a delay and an echo. Let's get rid of that delay, so just echo. So that's my prep. I've done a little bit of sound design and a little bit of sonic choice. And now I'm going to set this to receive. So I'm going to go take from Captain Chords, take from Captain Chords, also... We have post effects, Captain Chords, and Captain Chords. And now, if I go back to the Captain and go back to play, I'm getting nothing. And that's because I'm a dummy. Record ready! Always a good thing. Now, no, I'm a dummy. What did I do wrong? This is what I did wrong. What did I do wrong? Can you figure out what I did wrong, everybody? Take a look at the screen. Can you figure it out? Yeah, the track has to be on. <gasps> okay, now. Computer keyboard. Now I'm in business. So I can play whatever I want, and the MIDI is coming out. You can see to Serum 1 and Serum 2, it's actually not going here. If you find that it does go there, you can always take this and go Sends Only, um, and that'll turn it off. So, now I have to figure out what I like. So I'm going to play around. I was thinking maybe today I would do Dorian. What's going to happen to Dorian? No, 
this one. You've heard this progression a million times. Cool. So, I think that's what I'm going to do now that I think I have an idea. What I did last time was I built it in play and then went over to the verse and created it. I can do that or I can do something else. Oh, I also threw in a little drum beat. This is a basic 80s beat. It's been there since forever. It's in Ableton. So let me set up my stopwatch. Ready to go. Let's see what happens. And a one, a two, a one, two, three, and go. I'm going to hit the space bar. And while the beat's playing, clip and I'm going to drag it down into Captain, double click it, hide the Captain, take all my notes, quantize them to sixteenths, and now thirty seven seconds. Let's see if I can get down to thirty seconds. <laughs> Okay, that's obviously just one small piece of the puzzle, but that's how quick you can go from idea, playing with things, hit the space bar, record it, get it, drag it into the DAW, quantize it, and you're off and running. Um, I'm going to take this, and I'm going to do this again for fun, and I'm going to do it the way I did it last time, just to see what happens here. So I'm going to bring up Captain, and I'm going to use the exact same progression. I did a 1, a 3, a 1, and then a 7. Okay, and this time I'm going to actually go into verse and build it because I want to show you some other things. Okay, and I don't need to worry about this. This is going to, by the way, this is going to sit here. If you play and stop, the clip stays there. As soon as you hit play again, it re-records over that. So you can try it 3, 4, 5, 7, 12 times until you get it. But I'm going to go back to the other way where I'm going to kind of handcraft it. Um, and I am going to do the stopwatch again just to see what happens. But in play mode, play, record, drag, go. 37 seconds, and I probably talked for three or four of those anyway. So, take two. Go. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my verse, and I'm going to take the one chord, and I'm going to then add the four chord, sorry, the three chord, making sure I'm in Dorian, and then the one chord, and then the seven chord. Okay, what I'm going to show you now is that I can take all of these and I can introduce some space to make it a real short. And now I can even move the chords around so that I get an entirely different rhythm. Let's see. Let's actually undo that. Okay, but I want this to be the three. I don't want it there. I think I want it. Oh, that's not happening. Let's do it again. So I screwed something up. I'm going to kill it. And now let's go here. Let's go there. And now here we're going to do the one chord. So now we're going to do the one chord again. And I'm going to bring it back down to about one and a half and throw in the four, even though that wasn't there before. And then leave that where it is, go back to the one, shrink it down to one and a half, throw in the three, leave it here, put in the one again, shrink it down to one and a half. And the reason I'm doing this by hand is because I have a sort of a unique uh, rhythmic idea that I'm trying to execute, four bar loop, here we go. While that's going on, if I like, I can go over to each of the serums. I don't think that's the one I want to mess with. Let's put on a little filter action. Let's take LFO2, drag it onto the cutoff.
bit. Instead of quarter notes, let's go to the bar. Get rid of that attack. Cool. Terrific. Ha <laughs> ha! Two minutes, 54 seconds. Got it under three. I didn't do bass. I didn't do melody. I just did chords. But I went from an idea, handcrafted, my own sound, new mode, and I was playing with the timing to create a custom timing. One step further, if I wanted to, I could go to each of these and change them from four, complexity four, which is a triad, to complexity two, which is just fifths and then you get an entirely different sound. So let me do that real quick. And I'll leave the four chord as it is, because I want it to be major, because that's one of the specialties of Dorian. And I think I'll leave the seven here, so you'll get this. Okay, I love it. I'm gonna copy it. If I want, come over to the pre-chorus, paste it, and then change my complexity up to four again and go back to triad. So now I have a verse and kind of a chorus idea, if you will. And just to give you an idea, obviously I'm off the clock at the moment, but what the hell. So here's the verse and uh, they call it a pre-chorus. You can call it whatever you want. Now you're in triads. It's just that simple. But the point is, I went from having very little idea of what I wanted to do, except having some sounds that I thought I wanted to play with. Chose a key, chose a mode. I didn't even really change the key. It's the default A. So I did E flat last time. Right now, let me go back to the verse, keep it in fifths. There we go, G flat today. Why not? More of these coming, more little features of Captain, different ways to go, different Hitofude Ryu approaches. I'm Matt Donner, and this has been The Breakdown. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Please put the comments. I'm going to do this every week until everyone says, no, stop, or yay, keep going. Let me know what you think. Hit me up with questions, comments. I'm always here for you. Thanks, everybody. See you next time. If you're an aspiring music producer and ready to evolve your sound, Find out more about our San Francisco Brown Campus, online classes, and one-on-one -on -one mentorships at pyramind.com.